Welcome back, B Pussy Family. Alright, so we're back at Universal Studios. Yay, yay. And we're here to go ahead and try the new eats over at the Power Up Cafe. Yay! So there's new drinks, a calzone, pretzels, and lots of goodies. Oh my gosh, get ready, fam. With that said, get the snacky snacks. Cooties assemble. Wait, what are those? These are extra surprises where you put in your drink and it it either adds flavor and fizziness, so we're gonna see what it's all about. Flavor or fizziness, or, I'm excited. And or both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can fit in that costume, totally. <laughs> I'm like, bye, Branch. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan, Branch. <laughs> Dude, I love this packaging. Isn't it so cute? And it's perfect for the little pepperoni calzon with the mozzarella on top of that. That looks so yummy. Oh my gosh, look. I don't even want to like bite into it. All right, familia, y'all know what to do. Para arriba, para abajo, para el centro, para adentro. That's a good bite. And that's a good healthy bite. I mean, first and foremost, you have to recognize that when you first get this, it smells like French bread pizza. You know, like the one you would have back in high school, but it tastes better. You know, the, the meaty flavor, the pepperoni that comes through, the cheese, oh my gosh. There's a light crispiness to the crust right here on the face of the mushroom. Mmm, this is so yummy. And honestly, for the price of it, this is really filling. What I like about this is that you're going to be able to order it, grab it, and walk around and enjoy it fully. This is going to be a perfect one because sometimes you don't want to stop at the park. You want to like and and just keep going, you know, get through all the attractions, especially the long lines. This is going to be a great way to go ahead and do so. Oh, yeah. The new Power Up Cafe has four new drinks. All right, the first one we're trying is a one-up mushroom fizz. Lemon lime soda with green apple popping pearls and lime one up mushroom power up. Ooh, this drink looks fun. I am so, so happy about this. So, this is what the power box has. I'm excited. So, you grab this little buddy. So, here we go. Gotta really drop it in there. And this is what's gonna make it fizz. It's gonna change color and also gonna change the flavor. I should have probably tasted it without it first, but oh well. <laughs> I was just really excited to try it. This is such a cool drink. It already has boba in it. And now it's just like fizzing like that. That's so cool. Yeah. Para arriba, para abajo, para centro, para dentro. Oh man, that's fun. It's sour, it's tart, and the boba has a nice pop to it. This is good. I thought this was going to be very similar to the sundaes that they have downstairs. But no, this is a little bit different because it's a soda based with no ice cream. Dude, this may be the seat. Bye. It's so cute. Oh, you're so cute. We love you. You're the best. Oh my gosh. And then check it out. Oh my gosh. It's the shark. Shark out of water. It's amazing. <laughs> Actually, what I want to see is this. I can't, I want, if I didn't see this in person, I would not believe that he's having carbs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no way you put that in your temple. <laughs> oh, it's your bestie. Oh, you're looking amazing today. Adorable. Yes. Work it, girl. Yeah. Jeez. Hi, guys. Mango habanero fire flower. What? What? Okay, I got to try this before I put this, this item in here. Okay, right with like a splash of like orange in there. That, that's what I'm getting. That's like, look, it's With savvy. boba. With boba. I, I can't even get to the little, to the little jellies underneath. But let's. Wait, why can't you go to the little jellies underneath? They're pretty easy to get. They give you the right straw. <laughs> I stand corrected. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I don't want to put this I in there. I just don't understand when we have boba and there's not the correct straw. But here. <laughs> It is the right shot. I feel like Universal is the best. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Little Flower. Check this out. One of my favorite power-ups in the whole entire game. Honestly, even by playing the, the new Wonders game, like, I still go after the, the Little Fire Flower. It is that fun. That right. Padrissimo. Hopefully, I can shoot fire after this. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Okay. Vamos. That dissolving. Check this out. Check this out. Yeah. The fizzleness, the fizzle dizzle. It's super cute. Now, like any good bebida, you gotta mix it, you gotta stir it. You want this dissolved. I, you know, when you go ahead and uh, order it, they tell you that it changes color, it changes also the flavor profile in regard to this. I'm excited. This 
I'm nervous. The last time I had something fizzy, something that I had something fizzy was over like the fuzzy tauntaun over in at Disneyland, and that that's that's a whole other experience. But I'm nervous because I'm used to having habanero bebidas with like un pique. This has no pique, which is great for everybody. But um, how how spicy is that habanero? I don't know. It kind of looks spicy just from looking at it. Maybe the color. But look how cute that is. That is hilarious. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. The test. Okay. The test. I matched up. Let me try it again. <laughs> For science, I mean, you can taste the habanero in it, but it's not spicy. You, if if you've ever just had like a bit of a habanero with you know deseeded, you you get that flavor that 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 bite. But with that like the little uh, the little flavored uh, capsules, it's really fun. That's tasty. I get this again and again. All right, let me try it. Actually, yeah. I kind of want to see which one tastes better. I think the pro, uh, the peach. What is it? Pear. Well, because this one's the popular choice. No, I like the other one. That one more. Yeah, I can I can tell why people like this one though, because it's very different. Like you don't really get a habanero drink, especially not at a theme park without the alcohol. Where else do you get that? But you're only getting the the pepper. You're not getting the habanero. Well, you're still you still have that flavor. Mmm. Yeah, I'm going with the green, but I do like a lot of the sour and the tartness in my drinks. I like Sour Patch Kids. That's my oh, favorite. That's my favorite um, candy. So this tastes very similar to that, or like a green Jolly Rancher. Was it really? Have you not tried this yet? So, in the crystals, like what dissolves, you get a little bit of that, like habanero kick i finally got a little bit of it yeah which is fun like it's not like crazy like i'm not like choking dying on it but it's ah. also we hope you're not choking and dying dude no way this is way better yeah i honestly do think that the green one is the way to go okay. so far it tastes like pear ramune you know the little sodas with like the the marble oh, in it they pop that's what that tastes like are so good but with boba see si. yeah see si, see si, see si, see si. This is my dream. Popcorn with glitter. You know what? I've never had that. I've had rainbow popcorn, red, purple, blue popcorn, but glitter? Never. So I'm excited. And it, it actually sparkles. I thought it was going to be a little bit. No, that's shiny. They give like it a my, good dusting of it. Right? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Going to grab a couple of them. It's almost too pretty to eat, but you know what? I'm going to eat this edible glitter. Para arriba, para abajo, para el centro. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Best popcorn ever. Yeah. Best popcorn. Ever. <laughs> the one up mushroom calzone for thirteen dollars. Mushroom shaped calzone filled with spinach, green peppers, mushroom mozzarella, cheese, and basil pesto. It smells good. Um, for all those veggies in here, because this is the vegetarian option. Almost a bit. Almost a bit. It looks good. It's got a good flaky crust to it. It smells good. All right, y'all. Y'all know how we do it here. Mm. Oh. This is gonna sound so weird, but because of the big bite of like uh, the bell pepper and that pesto sauce, it reminds me of loroco. And if you're not familiar with what loroco is, it's a type of like herb used in uh, pupusas. And because of the cheesiness with the mozzarella, it's very similar to that. If I had like a red like spicy tomato sauce to go on this, over it, not like in it, but like it would be like I, I could almost consider being una pupusa. It's actually really good. The, the mushrooms on it. Mind you, you have to be a fan of mushrooms in order to really enjoy it. But it is good. It is tasty. I'll be honest. The, the It's hard to beat sausage and pepperoni combo. But if you're trying to eat something healthy and you want to lie to yourself, this is, this is the way to go. This is definitely the way to go. One. All right, squad. We got the superstar biz right here. It's lemon lime soda with the lemon lime like bolitas the little poppers oh my gosh and then of course this actually comes with a little fizz la estrellita let me open this up Isn't this cute this is gonna go ahead and change the flavor profile to pineapple and mango yes this is dope that might be the cutest power up i've seen it matches my backpack you can't have it <laughs> oh mm -hmm. it's king julian King Julian, he's looking amazing, fabulous. Look at that walk, look at that strut. I want that confidence. I need that confidence in my life. <laughs> Make sure it goes all the way in. 
I like seeing the little star dance. It reminds me of um, playing the Mario Galaxy, where you get uh, where you see the little estrellitas bailando. Oh, this is so cute. Too, too cute. I forgot to taste it before. I oh, thought well. you did it that on purpose. Pa arriba, pa abajo, pa el centro, pa dentro. Ooh. Oh yeah. That that's up there. I think I think oh that's really good. That's a big flavor. You get pineapple on one side of the cheek and you get mango on the other side, and it's perfect. It's perfect. All it needs is a little chamoy rim like on it and be so so good. So which one is better, the green apple or this so one? So far right now the pear is winning. That 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 green one up like is winning and then this is like second place second but it's like 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 right there it's neck and neck this is real this is a, a yummy one. Oh yeah that's so yummy okay oh it's the ghost of the most yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good it's good it's good you know what, what? don't I mean to alarm you though but you have a tiny man on your head really do you want to take it off yeah, of me because no, no, is it bothering no, no, no. me or is it? That's mm. fine. Mm. <laughs> Mario, but, <you> know. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So here we have the lemon lime strawberry drink. I am going to taste it beforehand because the other one I didn't get to. Yeah, the strawberry part's in the little bubble like popping fizzy thingies. Yes, I like it. I like it. Mm. I really enjoy strawberry, strawberry anything. So this is right up my alley. But I have a feeling that this is going to make it a million times better. A million? So let's do this. How cute is this? I feel like this is a total experience every single time. You know, when I first saw these, I thought they were a little like bubblegum like items. Ready? Dale, dale, dale. Got to make sure that you really get it dissolved in there. And it's so much fun. I can imagine... A lot of families really enjoying this, especially the kiddos, the teens. Dude, on the hot summer days? Yes. This will probably melt faster in those really hot days. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so cool. I've never had a drink that comes up with an extra like thing to do. A little interactive <laughs> element. I yes. think it's very cool, very fun, very Super Nintendo. It is, yeah. honestly. So here we go. I think but it's in there. It's way in there. All right, guys. So All right. Let's see if it's better with or without. Cheers. Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, I love it. Don't get me wrong, but this green one is way better in my opinion. It's still the winner. It's this still the is, winner. I feel like this needed more strawberry flavor. More strawberry in yeah. that? It's super red. It's red, but it's super does, red. I feel like it's more lemon. No, it needs a lot more strawberry flavor. Wait, wait, wait. We still have several on the... Okay, which one? Which one? Okay, which... hold on. Let me see which one's better, though. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. All right. Ooh. Right. Right. But it's, it's, as good as it is, it's not number one. No. Right? Number it's, one. Yeah. Number two. Okay. Number three. Really? Number four. All right. We got it. It's almost a tie between these two. These are, like, first place, and these are second place, like that. Uh, if you're not first, you're last, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Second opinion, right here. That is so weird because you can you can taste the strawberry, and mm -hmm. it's a sweet, puckery strawberry. Hits you right in the cheeks. It makes you smile, but it's still not enough strawberry. Like quiero más. Yeah. You know what? The peach drink downstairs is mm. better, and it has more flavor than that. If you had a little bit of sugar in this. Like on it would be very yummy. That would make the difference. So, do you think it's number four or number three? Oh. Does it beat the habanero drink, or does it? The ha, the habanero drink is unique. I will give it. I will give it the habanero. I one. told you. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You're we right. Agree. You're right. You're right. 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 I mean, this might be the best item to go with, and I haven't even tasted it. But here's why. You know, one sauce, two sauce. Three sauces. Are you kidding me? Dipping sauces? Yes. Dude. Mustard with a pretzel? Must. A quesito. What is this? Queso? Yes. What are you and I need more of you? Is it Thousand Island or no? No, it's got a spice to it. Oh, it's chipotle. It's a chipotle aioli. All right, familia. Check this out. Ooh, that looks pretty. Now, not your traditional pretzel. This is flaky. This is a good crust. This is served warm. You must eat it right away, familia. It is super cute. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, huele sabrosísimo, but it doesn't have that normal pretzel smell. Does that make sense? Like a hint of sweetness in this. Okay. Yeah, I can't. What sauce do we go with? All right, comment down below right now. Do you go mustard, chipotle, or do you go queso first? Queso. Okay, Becky's gonna guide me. Uh, to the left. To the left. To the right. Right there. Right there. <laughs> this is why we don't play the arcade games together. <laughs> okay, how about go to the chipotle first? Here we go. Now these are refrigerated. They're very cool. The chipotle. Light heat. Very creamy. The pretzel. Light salt on it. Oh. It is delicious. Proof right. This is yummy. And what I'm really liking is the whole entire edge. There's a light crispiness to it. I don't want to say it's like burnt, but just enough that you have that texture. Oh, look how hot it is. Wow. Yeah, I did not believe you. Honestly. Alright, let's do the queso dip. Yeah, el humito no, no miente. No miente, dude. It's an odd one. The cheese isn't cheesy enough. What? Like, it reminds me a lot of like the canned Tostitos, like cheese sauce. But even then, that's cheesier. Like, that actually has like buen sabor. Let me dip again. <coughs> no. No. Well, not the cheese? Not the cheese. Uh, but it's not the pretzel, it's the cheese itself that they chose. Okay. I, I think it's because in my head, I'm so used to like maybe getting a pretzel like some nacho cheese. Yeah. Like, you know, that artificial cheesy mm -hmm. taste, like, you know, cheddar whizzy type of che cheese? Yeah. No, no. No mostaza. Now, while mustard and pretzels is a go to, I don't know about y'all, but I like a spicy mustard with like my pretzel. You know, get fancy with it. Classic. The classic pretzel yeah. mustard. Forget about it. That's tasty. So you like that dip the best? No, the chipotle. As far as dips go, because the chipotle is an actual, like, you know, mustard is just a condiment itself. But the chipotle one's really good. It's, it's a nice one. But that, that mustard, I mean, if, if you like mustard and pretzel, that's it's your go-to. What I like about this is that it's big enough to go ahead and share. And if Becky didn't have a gluten allergy, she would be eating some of this with me yeah, right now. Yeah, no worries. But I got a glittery popcorn. <laughs> and all the drinks. I, I get it. But it's that sabroso. A must must get, honestly, here. And a great one that you can grab and just go down to the lower lots with your food, snacking uh, along the way, mm -hmm. or actually take it over to Waterworld and enjoy. That's, I, that's what I like about these, that these are all in carryable vessels. They actually have little uh, carrying containers for it. Right. Now, do be careful with the drinks. They're, they're to the rim. They're to the rim with the rice and everything. And rightfully so. You paid what you paid for it. You want it to eat uh, fully full. Do you like this uh, this item the best, or do you, do you like the other calzones? The calzones are delicious, but as far as the snack goes, I might get this over the churros here. So do you feel like the calzone is more of a light meal? The calzone is definitely a light meal to go ahead and grab. I think it's a great, like, it fills you up, it doesn't break the bank, and you don't have to sit down. One of the hardest things here at the park, especially during the summer or busy season, is that you can never find a table to sit down and enjoy your burger or your soup or your, like, your your sandwich so it's nice to be able to have something that you can eat standing up and continue on yeah i like no that. and it's really cool to be able to get the superstar popcorn bucket up here and then some of the actual mushrooms the sippers the sippers, the sippers. are in this um cafe instead of going all the way to the lower lot you can just get it here mm -hmm. so that's really cool i'm hoping that they bring out a new popcorn bucket for the one year anniversary but that'd be that's just me you know would be nice yeah. <laughs> hey guys, oh, we see so you. Cute. Too too cute. <laughs> Bye, Brand. <laughs> All right, the food was scrum diddly um shits. Honestly, so many new fa favorites. I can't wait to come back and have oh. the pretzel again. Yes, the pretzel, the calzone. I mean, the tan sabrosos. If this honestly is a great way to go ahead and grab something, go to the lower lot, go to Waterworld, enjoy it, or actually just grab one of these and go grab a drinky drink. That man, yeah, all fantastic. I'm gonna be double fisting with this and the Jurassic Water. Oh, so bad. That's <laughs> gonna be bad. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, drop a huge, huge like down at the bottom, and then comment down below what is an item that you're most excited to go ahead yeah. and try here. And then go ahead and leave the mushroom if you've made it to the very end of the vlog. And for the rewatch crew, I think the star. Let's go. Should be the email. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one right there.